Welcome everyone to Pivotal Stats where we talk about data analysis techniques, business intelligence platforms and much much more. So, let's go. Hey everyone. So, why do we need switch function in DAX? Let me give you a scenario. I have a table which has a list of services sold in a month with a column for industry. Expected input in that industry column are banking, retail, chemical and insurance. Now suppose you want to create a new calculated column by the name industry short in Power Pivot with these conditions that is whenever I have banking it should show me BKG in that new column whenever I have retail it should show RTL whenever I have chemical it should show CML and when the value is insurance it should show INS. Now in these types of scenario you might be tempted to use a nested if condition to get this done. Something like this. So before we get into the function part of it, let me quickly import this into the Power Pivot by coming to my Power Pivot tab and clicking on add to data model. I've already named the table as service underscore industry. So it has been imported. Now in the new calculated column, I'm going to write a new nested if condition. So if industry is equal to banking then I need PKG if industry is equal to retail then I need RTL if industry is equal to chemical then I need CML else I need INS because the last condition was for insurance and I can put it in my else clause and that's it right but what if I tell you that there's a better way to do this where we would not have to write multiple if statements and it can evaluate multiple conditions simultaneously in these kind of cases we can easily use the switch function let me show you how now the switch function is used to evaluate a list of expressions and returns the result of the first expression that evaluates to true. It is also used in combination with other functions to create more complex calculations, but we will cover that in a future content. Now coming back, the syntax for a switch function is as follows, where the expression is the value or expression that will be evaluated value one value two etc are the values to be compared against the expression result one result two etc are the results to be returned if the corresponding value matches the expression now default is the option result to be returned if none of the value matches the expression so in this specific scenario we can use switch function like follows okay so i'm going to write the dax for switch now in a separate column so equal to switch industry if it's banking then bkg if it's retail then rtl if it's chemical then cml And if it's insurance, then INS. And then I'm going to add an additional default value just in case no other criteria is met. So OTH, which stands for others and enter. And also, I just wanted to add this OTH since this is the default value. Uh, this can be useful for handling cases where the expression being evaluated has values that are not included in the list of specific values. So it can also be used to provide a more meaningful result for values that do not match any of the specified values. So finally, as you see, this formula is much more easy to construct and involves less number of parentheses which makes it easy to maintain in the longer run. So if you see, my formula is shorter than before when I was using a nested if function earlier, right? It Now the formula is shorter and also easy for anyone to understand what 
it's doing without getting concerned about multiple if statements and closing out each bracket for each if statement. So concluding this, I just want to say that switch function is a very useful tool that allows us to create conditional statements in our data model. It is especially useful when working with large data set that have multiple conditions to evaluate. So I hope this was helpful. That's it for today. Please do remember to subscribe to the channel and press that notification icon so that you get notified whenever I upload new content. Thank you so much and see you in the next one.